to to officers, members, visitors, friends, all y'all uh, locally, even worldwide. I want to say thank you. Even to those of you who are like tuned in and listening for or watching for the, for the first time, I want to say thank you, and uh, hopefully you'll get something, and um, you know, and then keep going and and whatnot. So, yeah, uh, amen. But if, but if you had your Bibles, if you will, if you will turn with me if you will turn with me. If you will turn with me to the book of John, the first chapter, John, the first chapter. Amen. Um, and while y'all doing that, I gotta pull up my uh, pull up my outline. All right, great. So, uh, John, the first chapter, and we're going to be reading the first through the third verse, but we're going to maybe concentrate on the first verse. Amen. And, um, depending on how it is, that's, that's how it's going, that's how it's going to be. Last time I was dealing with the King James Version because the other version was being updated, so we got to see how it's going to be, but, um, uh, John, the first chapter, one through verses one through three, and let me go ahead and turn with you all there. Amen. Amen. Um, John, John, the first chapter. And I'm going to be reading with you all the first through the Third verse, man, concentrating on the first verse. I'm going to be reading from the easy to read version because that's that's available now. Amen. That is available. So we're going to go from go from there. And, and it says this. In the beginning, 
the word was already there. The word was with God. The word was God. He was with God from the beginning. God made all things through the word. God did not make anything without him. Force won't miss this. It is the word who caused everything to live. Because of this, he has brought light to all people. To all. To all people. And I just want to say Concentrating on the first verse, which is the concentration verse. Everybody say concentration verse. Amen. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to read that and we're going to go on. It says, in the beginning, the word was already there. The word was with God. The word was God and God, God. And if I, if I could, if I could, I want to use for, if I could, I, I want to use for a title tonight. Just for a few minutes, concentrating on John 1, uh, 1 through 3. Man, concentrating on the first verse. The word is for everybody. The word is for everybody. And to make this more like relevant and to make sure that it's clear, I just stopped by tonight to tell you the word is for everybody, part two. The word is for everybody, part two. So I'm on, you know, I probably preached this before, but I'm going to preach it. Again, amen, amen, and I have four points that I'm gonna make, and that's just how it's gonna be, amen, amen. But it's like this the word of God is for the saved and unsaved. However, God wishes that more and everybody would take up the cross and follow him. The few main differences between a saved and a unsaved is a saved has baptism and the Lord's Supper at, and the other most 
high. This scripture was meant for saved. However, evangelism was meant to draw all men, women, boys, and girls unto thee. Which is said by the scripture, John 23, 32, 32. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. We all said, Amen. That's the King James translation. The King James translation. But there are four points that... That I, that I want to make it. We can all get up out of here. Amen. Amen. And. On. The, on. And. On the four points. Are. On. Are. God looks. To take his. Power. God looks to take his. Power. Power. If you want to know a biblical reference that says that God wants to take his power, I would suggest you go to John 3 16. If you want to know a, a biblical reference where God wants to take his power, I would say go to John 8 32. If you want to, uh, biblical reference where God wants to take his power, I would suggest you go uh, to Matthew 5, 5 through 6. If you want a biblical reference where God wants to take his power, I would suggest that you go to Acts, the first chapter, the eighth verse. God looks to take his power. You know, in my opinion, when it comes to people being saved or not, there is not, there is no coincidence, amen, that the devil tried to sway Adam in the Garden of Eden. No, uh-uh. That was God trying to get what he had back from him. And so he used the devil. And then it went forth from that. Use me, Lord. In your service, drawing Nero every, every day, God looks to take his power. There are a lot of people in this world who are unsaved, unchurched, don't believe this, that, and the other, and God says he wants his baby. Back. Amen. He, he, he wants his power. He wants his authority. He wants people to prostrate fall. And crown him. Uh, crown him Lord. Lord of all. You know, I, I don't know why. I, 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 I can stop going right now. I can stop ministering right now. I can stop preaching right now. Amen. But I don't know. I don't think I should because I got some more points to make.
So the first point was God looks to take his power. God wants you saved so he can be the God in your life. The Alpha, Omega, the beginning and the end. The one who saves you from what ails you. The second point, I got to keep moving on, amen. The second point is God's word speaks to the church and, I apologize, the God's word speaks to the church and unchurch, amen. I don't know if you know this or not. Amen. But I don't know if you know this or not. But you can go to just about any church. Amen. And hear the word of God. The difference is that you are either saved or unsaved, churched or unchurched, led or unled. You either have let God in or not let God in. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. And so that is the point about evangelism. Evangelism is for everybody. The good, the bad, the ugly, the drugs, the alcohol, the sex, the rock and roll, all that, anything you can imagine, that is what evangelism is for. And my third point, we knew about, and we're about here. God wants your ends. God, God wants your excuse me, ends. Why? I don't know. I do not know. I don't know why God won't show ends. You know, I I don't know why God won't show ends. I don't know why God won't show money. God is a good God. He can do anything but fail. And that's your sermon. And that's your word for the evening. Amen. If you all would bow your heads with me in prayer, oh Lord bless these dumb people who have heard and watched and seen. And you in experience. And Lord, what they have heard may be used for the upkeep of your kingdom gingerly like an onion peeled back layer by layer. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Also in the name of Mother Earth. Amen. 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 At this point in time, I, I want to thank y'all for stopping by, and I want to say if you guys have any questions or comments about this, uh, Egyptian Life Evangelism at Yahoo.com.